about now? I'll say it off the top, this is Savannah's Best Barbecue. Slow Fire Barbecue, new to the scene, they debuted at the beginning of 2023. Pitmaster Taryn Williams, his wife and sister-in-law, are the engine behind Slow Fire Barbecue, a slice of heaven in practically every single bite. Taryn is a Savannah native, grew up on barbecue around here. Tells us it wasn't until he moved to Texas that he realized how little he knew about barbecue, and the bug bit him. He became obsessed. Moved back to Savannah pre-2020 thinking he'd do something like this here in town because it was missing. The last three or four years were a blur like they've been for so many other people, but late last year, they started doing pop-ups around town. Shortly thereafter, they picked themselves up a bus, converted it to their needs, and already it's one of the most popular food trucks around. The meats are all smoked on this thing at a secret location, and I can tell you this smoker even cooled down, smells like the state of Texas, yes, even 20 feet away. This stuff is legit. He tells me out of the gate, most people around here wanted pulled pork, understandable. Brisket was always kind of an afterthought. It's a regional thing and he gets that. But a few samples and some word of mouth later, and brisket has probably become his number one seller. And he's obsessed with getting it perfect every single time. Like any other barbecue joint, they'll do sandwiches or platters this sandwich with their house-made sausage is over-the-top delicious, as is this pulled pork. I mean, really, it is as good as it looks. The day we were there, he was also slicing some pork belly. Soft, moist, and melt-in-your-mouth delicious. The sides, fried Brussels, mac and cheese, and a couple others are your standards, but they are very popular as well. Can't you tell? These beef ribs? Yeah, this is just a thing of beauty. And this was a weekday. Lunchtime, Taryn tells me the line forms almost immediately after they open. His sauce, which I can tell you is not needed for this stuff, but he makes it because so many people ask for a sauce, is tomato-based vinegar style. Also delicious, but I always, always dive into these without it. It is not necessary, thank you very much. I've always maintained the barbecue is a tricky proposition. There is so much diversity in how things are made, that my favorite may not be yours and vice versa. This stuff is an art form that Terrence says he has yet to master. It is always a work in progress. I cannot imagine how good it will be if he ever does. You can find Slow Fire and their schedule on social media. There's no website. There is no bat signal. Just good old-fashioned barbecue that you will eat and like.